Hey all, my name is Paul Broski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan. And what I'd like to do today is to give y'all some tips and tricks on how to write a barbershop business plan, as well as introduce y'all to a very basic financial model that may be used in your barbershop business plan, as well as it may also be customized and expanded upon for your future pro forma financial projections. So with that said, the way the video is going to work out is I'm going to go ahead and give y'all a little bit of background about me, who I am, what I do, why I do it. And then from there, give you all some tips and tricks on the barbershop, writing your barbershop company um, description section, and then showing you all how to use a basic financial model that is designed for the bar barbershop. And once that's complete, sum it up, wrap it up, and call it a day. All right, without further ado, let's zip through this little PowerPoint presentation that I've got for your listening pleasure. So first and foremost, a little bit about me. I am a professional writer, specifically a business plan writer. Need some help writing your business plan? Give me a call. Need some financial projections, assistance with that? Give me a call. Be delighted to assist. If you're almost done with your business plan, you've got your financial projections almost ready to go, your business plan almost ready to go, but you need that little bit of nudge, um, check out some of my books on Amazon.com. I do have books published in relation to business plan writing and as well as financial projections and understanding financial statements. And then finally, a little bit of education behind me. And specifically, I'm an adjunct professor and subject matter expert in both business and finance. So again, if you need some assistance with just your financial projections, be delighted to assist with that particular um, part of your business plan. Enough about me. Let's talk about your barbershop. Um, so tip number one for your barbershop company description section. What I like to do um, for some of my business plans is to lead off with some kind of a story as to why the owner is embarking upon their entrepreneurial endeavor in this specific case, a barbershop. So what motivates you? What, why, why did you, you know, choose to, to get into the barbering? Um, industry and, and why do you feel that you know this is the next step this is you know this is where you need to be so you know, maybe talk about some motivations behind as to why you want to start this shop uh, it could be you know a childhood story a lot of people you know the barber shop is the place to hang out you know people go there you get your haircut and you you know you have some coffee or you know as a child you know you watch the adults you know sit back and you know chit chat and you know have a good time and have some laughs you know if, if that was a part of your upbringing then make sure to describe that and, and talk about it and you know bring the community feel into your your know, barber shop and you know not only are you looking to provide services for your clients but it, it's also you're looking to improve the community as a whole um also you know maybe your your father and your grandfather and your great great grandfather and your great great grandmother or you know whoever you know they were barbers as well and from that you know you want to carry the tr tradition on for the next generation and pass it on to your children or so forth uh, whatever your driving motivation is or your story behind starting your barber shop make sure to include that um, up front in your company description section next in the company description section talk about your specialty w what is going to be your core competencies what are you going to do better than other barbers in the area are you going to be providing innovative designs and you know cutting edge haircuts and, and beard trims and beard designs you know, if that's going to be your specialty, fantastic. Make sure to identify that in your core competencies or your competitive advantages. However, maybe you're going to stick with the traditional cuts and you're going to go old school and you're going to have the little, you know, the candy cane um, thing that spins around out front that, you know, that it tells everybody that there's a barbershop right here, you know, and you're going to stay to for the traditional cuts and, and that's, you know, what your bread and butter is going to be. If that's the case, again, fantastic core competency, competitive advantage, lock it down, describe it in your business plan, in your company description section. Finally, in the company description section, pepper, throw a little bit of information, some statistic and in, statistical information into your business plan, specifically your company description. When you include its industry statistics and you document it using footnotes, it shows the reader that A, you've done some research. So this is a credible document and B, that you, again, you've done the research and you, you are knowledgeable about the industry. So you're adding credibility to the document and you're adding credibility to yourself when you just you know in, introduce a few statistics up front um, with into your business um, into your business plan. All right, tip number two. 
In tip number two, financial projections. When you're doing your business plan, you do want to include your pro forma financial projections, your next 12 month profit and loss statement, income statement usually for the next three to five years, as well as your um, balance sheet. Now, the showing you all how to create a financial model with that type of scope is outside of the scope of this of, um, this short video. But what I can do is show you all, this is a real quick, clean, financial model that I've created that can be customized, that was customized for the barbershop industry. And through the way the structure works out, it's in three segments, revenues, cost, and then profits. The way the revenue segment um, is aligned is it starts with what is your average customer ticket? So when, when somebody comes in the door, how much, is, how much do they usually spend at your location? And that's gonna be your sales price for this example, $50. The next variable to include in this model is going to be how many customers do you normally service on a day? You know, so if, you're, if your barbershop service is 14, then put it here. The next is going to be your variable, variable cost. You know, so if your customer comes in, they get a haircut, and they're probably going to buy a product or two, what is your variable cost? You know, so for this example, I'm saying it's $5 because, you know, if you're just going to give them a haircut, you know, the, the, you know, the price of, you know, shampoo or what have you or you know, beard cream or whatever, it's very, very low. But, you know, when you have the customers buying products, you might have a markup of 50%. So what this does, you know, by adding, you know, $5 to the variable cost or whatever you want to add it to, it kind of averages everything out. So keep in mind, this is a short and sweet financial model. We don't want to provide too many details because what we're trying to do here is just get an idea of what our profits are going to be and our revenues and our cost. So average, um, estimate your variable cost right here. Once that is done, all you're going to do is you're going to deduct your variable cost from your sales price. From there, you're going to then multiply your gross profits, $45, by the 14, which is the number of customers. In this example, I'll give you 630. Next is going to be multiply the $630, your total gross profits, by the number of days you're going to be in the operations a month. I'm saying for 26 days, that means you're probably taking off Mondays or something. Multiply that, and that's going to give you 16380 bucks. Pull that number right down here under your monthly profits. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to identify what are your costs, your labor, your lease, your utilities, your marketing, supplies, accounting, legal, insurance, miscellaneous, the, the catch-all miscellaneous. Whatever your costs are going to be, itemize them and add them up right here. Once you're done adding them up, drop it down here. Our next step is going to be to deduct our monthly cost from our gross profits. In this particular example, it's gonna give us 7,180 bucks. Now, let's say that $7,180 is not worth us getting out of bed in the morning and that we need a little bit of, we need a little bit of higher profits. So what we can do is we can come up here and we're gonna say, you know what? Maybe we can, if we service 20 customers and we hire somebody else, um, labor instead of that, bring it up to 35, 45, $5,000. You know, what is that going to do? So, you know, if we just add a little bit of customers, you know, if we bring up our customers and we hire somebody else, that's going to bring our profits up to $12,700 just by changing a couple of variables. So hopefully you can see that this model right here, it's short, it's sweet, it's to the point. It can be expanded upon for your income statement. We've got our revenues here, we've got our cost here, and we've got our profits here. So it can be expanded upon, but right now we can play around with our sales price. We can play around with our number of customers, and we can play around with the number of employees until we identify what our optimal price points are, customers are, and costs are. So it's a very strong model, um, very simple to um, make, very simple to use. All right, so hopefully uh, that information was helpful. So a little bit of summary. Um, so first and foremost, when you write your business plan for your barbershop, make sure to use a proven template. You can go to SBA and get a general template that can be used for a barbershop. It could also be used for a lawn company and it could be used for a manufacturer and you know, heck, even an airpl airplane you know, manufacturing company. So you know, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna probably spend a little bit of time trying to figure out what you need and what you don't need. So you know, make sure you use something that's aligned with your industry. Next is going to be keep the start of the show as the barbershop. You know, sometimes I'll get a barbershop business plan and I'll take a look at it and you know, it's, it's telling me all the benefits and challenges of starting a barbershop. It's almost like a really well-written article about a barbershop. 
but it tells me nothing about the specific barbershop. I don't know where it is. I don't know what specifically the company is going to do. I don't know how many barbers they're going to be working with. I, I know none of that because it's so general and it's so it's just so focused on the, the benefits and challenges of a barbershop. So just keep that in mind. Keep the start of the show as the business. And then finally, if you need some help writing your business plan for your barbershop, give me a call. You need some financial projections, give me a call. Be delighted to assist. And then finally, you want a little bit more information on how to write a barbershop on business plan, just zip over to my website, qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash how to write a hair salon and barbershop business plan. And if you'd like a template that is aligned with the barbershop industry, again, zip over to my website, qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash barbershop business plan template and you can go ahead and um, pick up a template there sketch your word document that's going to um it's really good the word document it, it's really good for your business plan and it also has your financial model in excel that you can manipulate the numbers and you know get your financial projections from there all right so hopefully this video was helpful if you liked it give me a thumbs up on youtube and as always i'll go out there and make a little bit of money thank you